Hi, welcome to this Alkalinux B Plasma installation. We have, uh, let's go and have a show in the NeoFetch here. So this is the last build, 6.9.2. We are today, 19th July 2018. It's online on SourceForge, you know where to find it. Um, let's go not with Conqueror, but Firefox. First time installed, so it's a clean installation. I'm going to show you a bit uh, how Plasma works on an actual SSD, which is always the best thing um, instead of installing it on like this. Installing it on uh, VMware or on VirtualBox, it always takes more time. So I downloaded, yeah, okay. I downloaded the last one, so this is three hours ago it was uploaded. Download it again from SourceForge and burned it on a USB. So USB image writer, you know how the drill, where's the image, where's the USB. Then it's done. And then we've installed, we reboot it and we have now this machine. So let's just quickly have a look at it and um, see if it's what you expected. We have this file manager, which is here. Uh, lots of elements, control H will work here as well. So the dot config. Some items will be there that you'll recognize. Control H out again. Some other views you can take. And control is even more to define. And um, there's a lot of things going on in KDE. I mean by this all these options here. Send us email attachment, decrypt, verify, encrypt, decrypt, GPT, P, GPG, checks and all that. It's it's really it becomes more and more complicated as when you click something you have more and more elements, things you can do and burn and all that. So a lot of um, possibilities are available in your Dolphin system. That's, by the way, of course, the file manager. And then we have this beautiful wallpaper changing. Yes, we did install variety. So if you don't want it, quit it, change the preferences or just uninstall it. It's all on articlinux.com, how to work with variety, but particularly like this, uh, wallpaper so what you do you go to view desktopper.co and we like something then you log in which I cannot do at the moment since it's a clean install uh, I don't have the password but this is the number basically that you need to have to um, save it then click on this this button and it's going to be synced to your Dropbox so that's awesome and simple so what I can do for now is say, hey, this is my one of my favorites. So copy to favorites means that it's in a separate folder right now and I can uh, reuse it later, find it later when everything is set up here. We have this little thing up here, paste, undo, refresh, empty trash bin. Okay, let's do this one. Don't ask again, empty and show desktop, add widgets. It's very interesting and fun to have widgets in here. And lots of things, I haven't tested them out. Um, comic streak, a uh, strip here. I run Linux, yeah. Device notifier, lots of information, disk quota. What I probably will go to are, are technical stuff like CPU and memory and all that. Sort of uh, like a conky information thing. If you're downloading something, you're torrenting something, you can man monitor the network downloads. That's interesting so lots of elements you can just drag and drop or, or click i think it's just drag and drop and um, touchpad stuff trash can web browser well lots of elements you see things you can add extra so this thing here lock widgets open with dolphin configure desktop lock screen and leave all options i want to kill this one i can always undo as you can see it's incredible versatile it's incredible complete um, this desktop environment. All right, um, how about theming system settings? This is even more complete. This is your configuration or control panel from, from Windows or whatever. So every operating system has its own configuration uh, panel. And this is, well, more. I don't think you can get a more um, complete system settings than this one it's every thing here to the left opens up other options again here and often of new elements here again so it's it's just packed with all kinds of stuff i have to well um, 
go into it in the future. I mean, you know that we'll make uh, videos and articles about the desktop environments, but this one is going to take a lot of videos. It's as simple as that. There's a lot of things that you can do in here. And uh, we'll have to figure that out ourselves and see what possibilities there are and what elements we should uh, use. Connect internet accounts such as Google Live. Well, I we'll still have to figure them all out and try them all out. But it looks very promising. I've read there was also an article about somebody in connecting his Bluetooth um, system. Is, well, I think it was a Samsung device. It was so enthusiastic. So gonna test it out as well. So a lot of information is in here, but maybe let's just stick now to the looks. So we have this breeze here and breeze dark. We can say apply and everything gets very, very dark indeed. So this is an overall look and feel that you get. It's an, a package of uh, cursors and uh, icons and themes and all that. So the same goes for this art dark apply. So it's a bit, well, it's it's personal all this is very personal indeed um, very good tip that i maybe should include here as well is you can always reset the elements but let's get something whiter uh, breeze i wanted to take apply that's better to read so use desktop layout from menu will be lost and reset to the default layout provided by the selected theme so if you say everything to defaults and reset this thing then you always get uh, your last. Did I do something wrong? No, oh, okay, everything should be reset right now. Okay, so that's a good thing that it's there. Desktop theme goes on with um, different elements. So the theming from you know, the windows, how, how what colors of, of um, you want to have here. Okay, that's uh, not what I intended to do. I wanted to just click here and then apply. Here we see here things changing in the bottom. Materia blur. Not so much effect. Let's talk. Oh, let's take a white one again. So elements can change and still keep uh, the windows and all that. This one is going to take a while. It's just uh, matters how many icons you've installed, icon themes you have installed. So we have more or less 25, 30 uh, icon themes installed. I've uh, eliminated paper and papyrus and it immediately affects our loading time. So it's faster now than it was before in previous version, just because we have less icons. So that's the reason why the cursor theme just takes a while. And then done so i won't go into it anymore this is the adapter uh, let's let's just show you so if you want to boot up and you want to see this when booting after your login that is then you get to see this and uh, there are other possibilities you can try out but normally it's this breeze one you can change the colors separately so here is everything to choose from and fonts probably make it a little bit bigger there is also a good tip that I can can include here select fonts select all fonts and make all fonts available 11 that's faster and then just this one maybe back to 9 something like that that's possible too font management is here yeah if we don't apply if we forget to click on the right button here it says hey there are changes apply please so, okay, it's applied now. Font management is here. And like I said, um, paper and papyrus are out, which in, well, uh, cuts down our, si our time to load up our uh, cursor. So we have a choice and icons is a bit tricky. Let's go to the Sardimono papyrus color. So it's uh, the folder from the icon theme papyrus. And icon themes are always tricky in the sense that they do not immediately take effect. You see, this is not correct. This is correct though. This is all good. Computer, mm, not this one and so on. So not, I do not know these guys either. So the only thing you can do, and I can't do that right now, that is log off and log on. 
because uh, I'm really working on SSD this time and I'm making um, a video about it. So you check it out. It's just a little tip. Just log out, log in and everything will, will look good. All the guys that are colorful will be not colorful anymore. This one will never change. You know what this is. This is the guy that um, we need a pseudo hard code fixer for. So some of these software engineers will not change, do not change, have not changed these um, pathway to the icon and it's always their icon. It's never the icon for Numix, it's never the icon from Papyrus, it's never the icon for any team. It's just their icon. So with this hard code fixer, that's fixed. Um, yeah, I guess um, it's a good um, overview to um, end here. So we've done a lot of things already and I'm learning all the time. The last thing maybe I would like to recommend you is um, these buttons down here. Get new looks, colors, get new scheme, icons, get new themes, get new th icons. Yeah. So that's an interesting one. I'm going to leave you with one great tip I got myself from somebody online. Install Numix. There is a beautiful theme here, which I have on my other machine. And I actually, I actually haven't changed it for like, I don't know, a month or so or two weeks. I still love it. So this is the new mix theme. I supply that one. It looks all black, but not all black. So it gives us a toolbar that's black and it gives us a menu. Looks awesome. It has some red effects, which I like as well. So basically this is now my setup at this point in time. But of course, things change over time. Everything changes. And we have now this uh, new mix folders. We can change the new mix folders as well by the way so what i did i think on the other machine so other ssd best tip ever buy yourself a base switcher i mean this this is uh, you can pop in an ssd and pop it back out and i switch ssds like i switch shoes and every ssd has its own linux system its own arco xfce but also arco linux b xfce and so on so going to voila going to the icons that's what i want to do go to the icons there is in here i hope still there it is numix circle arc i do like the yellow one but the blue one the blue version of the icon i think it's nicer to have a uh, beautiful uh, dolphin so i like this better than the yellow one so with this i conclude the video do try it out KDE has been a revelation for me in the sense that I thought, well, I was dreading to, to figure it out, to, to install it, to learn about it, but I've been working now on it for a month. And actually, I'm sorry to say, but I was wrong. Uh, this is a great desktop environment. Do check it out. There are lots of possibilities. I still have a lot to learn, but that's um, actually the fun. That's actually why we started Arc Linux in the first place. Living to learn learning to live. Cheers.